The um, Montana Board of Pardons and Parole today heard Lou Donaldson's application for parole. As you know, he's been in um, the custody of the Department of Corrections since January of 2013. And uh, what was the disposition? Well, um, I'll tell you, what, what happened was the um, victim and her family and her supporters were present. Um, we um, came and we actually shared with the board some concerns that we had that um, Bo had not been engaging in treatment that prior to his sentencing, um, that he didn't have a real solid parole plan. Um, his family was there and indicated a wish to move to another state, and there just weren't any specifics about his parole plan. So we had a lot more questions than we had answers. Up, so we opposed the parole. Um, Judge Townsend, if you remember at the sentencing, had recommended that he complete the boot camp program in addition to the sexual offender treatment program. Um, so we reiterated that recommendation today. If the, port, if the board was going to consider a, any parole, we would ask that it wait and defer that decision until after uh, the defendant had successfully completed mm -hmm. the boot camp program. All right. All right. So, but he, he had a 30 year sentence with 20 years suspended. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. So he is two years into a 10-year sentence. And yeah, at two and a half years. And so um, they, what the board wants is 25% of the time served until they'll even consider an application. And that's what's happened here. Okay. All right. So two years from now, how long will the boot camp uh, program last? There's, the boot camp program is in two phases. The first phase is on the prison grounds, and it's very military style. Um, it, our, our hope was that that would help instill a sense, a permanent sense of personal responsibility. Um, that lasts about 90 days, sometimes longer. And then if they successfully complete that portion, then they're set to a boot camp aftercare program in Great Falls that lasts for at least another 90 days. Um, the board said that once he successfully completed um, both of those programs, then it would re-entertain his request for parole. All right. And uh, I, 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 let me turn this off. Okay. Okay, uh, Kirsten, how, how was the victim? How did, was she holding up during this parole hearing? She, she is absolutely amazing and courageous. I was so proud of her, and her, she directly addressed the board herself. And what, what were her thoughts to the board? Um, we echoed the same concerns about the lack of a solid plan, um, the fact that the boot camp program hadn't been initiated yet. Um, I believe that she just asked the board to be a little bit more introspective about the if they're going to grant it, then they would, watch, they would like more details about who his treatment providers are going to be, et cetera.